Welcome Aries to your March 2017 forecast by me, Ellie from HypnoU. If you'd like a private reading, go to www.hypnoyouellie.com. Please go follow the link for Vimeo to get your whole year reading for $4.99 per video. So this month in March at your work, you are collecting on old debts. Uh, there is success in calling in an expert to look over the numbers, look over the plans, look over the permits, look over the contracts, look over the details. Uh, this is with a Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus and this is to get on to that next step to resolve any past debt issues or to be able to move on into the next part. This is with your work, your study or your finances. Uh, now there uh, is some sort of permit um, that might be needed before you can take the next step. You are uh, succeeding, this is a three card, you have the Midas touch at work, you are dealing with government agencies, um, extended areas of uh, government agencies, permits, uh, insurance companies, um, the outer uh, in-laws of the uh, corporate uh, corporate world or industry world or even the university world. That is where you're looking, dealing and working with in March. Uh, also there's um, this formality, this step that needs to be taken will bring in future growth and this is um, Midas touch, lucky touch, uh, enlightenment that brings you there and moves you forward. At home, Queen of Pentacles, uh, this is you stopping and smelling the roses, Aries, that you, uh, this earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, that you're dealing with, uh, you are investing in your future, you are making those uh, hard decisions for things to continue on into longevity. This is about um, growing blossoming, putting, well receiving uh, great the harvest, but putting that into the future as well. This is about you uh, looking after you, one-on-one -on -one time. This is a beautiful family time where things are growing. Um, I feel like some of you Aries people are thinking about children, starting the children cycle, or being laid up being laid up or having time off this month during parts of March where you are thinking about you and your decision with children for, for some of you Aries people. Um, this is also about being relaxed about your physical and your financial uh, state. So if you've had any issues about that uh, previous month, then this month you are um, well, you're also dealing with mortgages and uh, serious contracts and putting insurances into play. And this makes you feel very relaxed about your uh, physical and your financial stance around the home. Now, uh, in your health, we have the three of wands. And this is about um, your speech. Uh, this is about your uh, face. This is about your vocal cords, fingers, arms, hands, shoulders, lungs, and nervous system. This is about communication and also mental ability. So this card says that you are looking overseas or you're looking online you are looking for the expert uh, to find that success in those areas and I think that you are going to um, book uh, but do uh, take a book to go or book in um, but do take care to note of the Mercury retrograde at the end of the month uh, shadow period starts on the 27th so making sure that any plans that you do make for travel that you uh, have double checked everything because during Mercury retrograde you can have stop starts reversals cancellations strikes uh, bad weather that can cancel flights all those sorts of things as well but it looks like you are going to have success in those areas and it looks like you're going overseas um, and quite quickly almost like for some of you you can look online and think oh that's something I want to do and then when you you go and inquire they say oh look we've had a cancellation you can come next week uh, so that's it's that kind of thing but you're going to seek out the expert at home in your love uh, we do have a domestic bliss a harvest this is meeting mr. or mrs. right so if you're newly dating someone you feel like this is someone um, that you could spend the rest of your life with someone that meets you on, on a lot of uh, levels. This is celebrating a newly acquired status or title with this person. This is a celebration at home with this person. Um, this is happy ever after. This is hope. This is promise. This is optimism for the future. So your adoring virtue messages from the angels card is two cards for you they say okay so as I was telling you that you are like I said before Queen of Pentacles uh, that you are thinking about 
children, thinking about the children process, maybe even just being coming pregnant or you're at the end of that pregnancy. Um, this card says the same thing. Uh, if this is not to do with children, this is about your finances, that you are just setting something and have been for a while or you're just starting that process of something that you love and that you do have the support there to get through that gestation period to deliver on those results and to have that harvest. Archangel Raphael is telling you that with any physical issues that you have, that the Archangel is there to help you uh, to be able to overcome these and to get you back on your feet. So you have a wonderful, fabulous March. Be kind to you and those you love, and I shall see you next month.